Good morning. It's 4 a.m. Yeah, super tired today, but we're gonna fight through that. We're gonna feed, the, feed these guinea pigs and go to work. Okay, so Mr. Allen is not making that easy money today. He said, forget that. We'll let him have this one. But he's he's getting the Dunn's hat later tomorrow. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to go to Quick Trip because Nate's about to pass it. And then uh, hit the highway. Because life is a highway and we want to ride it all the way up. Lake Geneva again. All right, guys. At this point, I'm fully ready to jump into this day. Okay, we are here. This, we're gonna put a roof on it. Um, I'm gonna have Nate run the ice and water. I'm gonna felt. Um, and then I'm gonna get it shangled. So this lady gets the best customer of the year. Last year? We had people like bring out food and like water all the time. And this year it's actually really no one bought out stuff for us. Yeah. Now, Alan, I know you're watching this. I want 10 push-ups because you didn't come to work today. Um, it's all right though, buddy, but I do want 10 push-ups. And you missed out on snacks, so you're lost. All right, guys, so we got that ran. About to get the last jack on. I'm gonna felt, and then we're gonna knock that out real quick. Vogue. Vogue. Marlon Brando, Jimmy Dean, on the cover of a magazine. Strike a pose, there's nothing to it. All right, guys, the scary part is done. We are going to cap that off, um, ridge vent it, and go dump the load and take some lunch.
Need more cap? You gonna get it or you want me to get it? Go get it. It's a Nate Cam. Nate Cam going to get the cap. Yes, boss man, I'll get the cap right now, boss man. Better hurry up, I don't want to get yelled at. Oh, Nate Cam. Oh, we got the cap right here. Oh, look at all that cap. Here you go, boss man. I got some cap for you. Anything, there you go. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Five, every time. Well, the first time I capped uh, anything was literally a week ago, so. You've watched me do it 90 fucking million times. Well, just because I'm watching you do it doesn't mean I'm paying attention. Why? Because I'm a space cadet. Yeah. Why did they give me this? Because you're not a preferred customer in this area. Look at all these cows. Yeah. Look at this, ABC. What is this? Oh boy, we're having an issue with our supplier again after they already broke our truck. Yeah, they broke our truck. So they were loading. Uh, I, ha I had a job that I was doing and I wanted to order another job. And I knew they wouldn't be able to get it there in time, which is fine. So I said, hey, Tyler, take, take the dump truck and, uh, you know, I'll have ABC loaded in there. So I ordered the job, I had Tyler there, he called me. I'm on a house, really, really kind of bad house, and uh, he's like, the hit, they broke the truck. I'm like, what? Um, what'd they do? He's like, the hitch is bent, the trailer's on the ground. So these guys took and pushed a, a pallet in my overweighted trailer. It bent the whole tow package. tow package down. Basically ripped it out of the frame. Yeah, and then... Ask me if I feel that they're, they're liable. And I said, well, look, man, I'm not gonna like blame anyone. I wasn't too mad because it's an older truck. And they said, well, what can we do for you? And I said, well, the first thing is, is I have a whole trailer full of equipment or a trailer full of, a, of material that needs to get to a job. So the first thing you could do is at least take it there. So they did, but they still charge me. Charge them for it. Yeah, so I'm mad about that. Um, that was kind of bogus on ABC's part. Um, I mean, I don't really care if they find out. In ABC's defense, every time Tyler touches something, he breaks it. So, I don't know, maybe there's more to the story and we didn't hear it all, but. They also immediately took the forks from the forklift and tried to bend it back. So mm. they knew they were doing something. Trying to hide their tracks. Story about Tyler. Um, um he broke the dump truck brake lines. Well, I don't know. That one you can't really blame him for, but yeah, but we can. It's never, like every time he touches anything, we, something we can gets never broken. Never not blame Tyler. Oh, Tyler didn't do it. Or the time that uh, Tyler uh, hooked up Justin's uh, dump trailer wrong and yes. almost killed him. Yeah. <laughs> I already told that story. And Justin, like, defended him about it. I'll just sit here. Oh. Somebody's snowblower ain't starting. Is that porch? Ice and water! Tyler, were you there? No, you weren't there. Tyler just walks away in the woods and starts meditating. Yeah, and then my mom calls me and is like, so why are these weirdos meditating in the in the woods? Yeah. Yeah, Tyler likes to meditate. He likes to burn sage in the dump truck. Likes to break things. He's 
seriously broken. talking about Alan it was probably the funniest comment I read and it said uh, um, it looks like uh, Alan needs uh, a raise because he has a very stressful job and I laughed very hard at that and so did Zach um, whoever commented that uh, comment of the day I'll give it because yes Alan is very stressed out and he definitely could use a raise but don't tell him that you didn't hear that from me All right, guys, the top is all done. Um, yeah, we're gonna go eat some lunch and dump the trailer. So uh, I was reading the comments and you guys said that we don't take safety first. That's yes, a lie. That's, what do you call this? Why, if we don't take safety first, explain this. Come on. Are you guys serious? I mean, typically roofing, nothing about roofing is safe. So yeah. So we're gonna throw this truck into four low. We're gonna make it up this hill and we're gonna dump this load safely. Thanks. All right, guys, we're here. The Grand Canyon. The Grand Trash Canyon. <laughs> the Grand Trash Canyon. Are we supposed to dump it in a certain spot? Just dump it right here. $94. So yeah, we got the load off. We're gonna go get some food. Nate's really weird. He's not mechanically inclined at all. Just to let you guys know. Stupid. The door gets you, bud. All right, guys, um, I didn't film it, but we tore the front porch off. Uh, didn't really feel like filming, to be honest. Um, it was, it's kind of a mess, so. Um, we're gonna get going, pick up a little bit, and uh, we'll hit her hard again tomorrow. Thank you for watching another episode of uh, FNM Exteriors. I'm Zach. And I'm Nate, and we'll see you mañana. Bye.